Hi, my name is Eric Houchin, and this is my Wise Demo Wheel using the open source first person shooter, AKQ. In this video, I will demonstrate some of the sound design techniques that I used to create the sound effects, vocalizations, and adaptive music that I implemented into the game using Audio Kinetics Interactive Sound Engine, WISE. The project started with organization and planning, so I created an asset list to track the creation and implementation of all the sound required for the game. This was a fundamental step and was invaluable to the success of the project. In a first person shooter, the weapons are king. From the shotgun to a rocket launcher, they all need to feel believable when the player pulls the trigger. The weapon sounds were created by adding multiple layers of samples that accounted for the initial attack, body, and low end elements of the sound. The sounds were then treated with dynamic processing and then bust as groups to further process and gel the sounds together as a whole. For weapons such as a fireball, I also used subtractive synthesis techniques, in addition to sample layering to create the results I wanted. Multiple variations of each sound were then separated and implemented into individual randomization containers, such as for firing, cocking, and the shells landing. So for each weapon firing event, there is continuous randomization during playback to prevent the player from feeling that any single sound is repetitive. The footsteps were recorded in my studio for each terrain required in the game. The footsteps were then organized into randomization containers and managed by switch groups. So as the player traveled from one terrain to the next, the game switched to the appropriate footstep sound. The player could also be either above or below water. So an underwater ambiance was implemented and managed using game states. So anytime the player was below water, the underwater ambiance would play, and all of the sound effects would be attenuated using a low-pass filter to mimic the sound dampening effect. To add the final piece of environmental polish, reverb settings were added to each area of the map, ranging from small to large rooms, as well as tighter corridors. The player vocals were recorded in my studio using my voice, which included jumping, pain, and death recordings. As the player's health diminishes, a heavy breathing layer is mixed in using a real-time parameter control for the player's health. In the game, there are seven monster types, so in addition to my own voice recordings, I also brought in a female voiceover talent to add to the variety of vocal formats that would be used to create the sounds. Each source vocal was then transformed using grain, pitch, transient, and playback modulation techniques to create the various monster sounds. <gasps> then multiple variations of each sound were implemented using random containers to keep the vocalizations from sounding repetitive. <laughs> the music I composed for the game was separated into three categories, ambiance, suspense, and the main music. I mixed and mastered each layer, and then edited and audited each segment to ensure seamless looping. The ambiance is a low but subtly evolving texture that always plays. It is the base ambiance for the map, and the foundation setting that sets the tone for the player's experience. The next category is the suspense layer that is managed by a playlist container with multiple variations, and is tied to the real-time parameter control, Monster Suspense. So when there are enemies present on the map near the player, this layer becomes more present in the mix. I also modified the game's code to increase the radius of the monster suspense to further tune the effect for the best in-game experience. The last category is the main music in the game. I added new events and whys and recompiled the game's code so I could add my own music triggers throughout the map. The music starts as a more synthetic sound that represents the non-worldly environment of the game. But as the player traverses through the map, it built into a heavier rock track to provide the player with a sense of empowerment to take on the onslaught of monsters standing between them and the exit. The 
now that all the work is done, it's my turn to play. I'm Eric Houchin, and I had a lot of fun creating and implementing the sounds for this project. And thank you for watching my Wise Demo Reel.